Hey everybody, today I'm going to share a quick tip on one of the things you absolutely must do during your ACL examination of the knee. Really something that you need to do at the beginning of your examination to make sure that you don't get a false positive with uh, ACL instability. So one thing that I think we sometimes miss is this quick little pearl. So what I wanted to show you is a little bit of my crude drawing. I'll make a really bad drawing of the knee for myself here, but if this is the tibiofemoral joint, and we have an intact ACL and PCL, what tends to happen in the 90 degree flex position is that the tibial plateau and every, every aspect of the anterior aspect of the tibia tends to sit a little anterior to the femoral condyle. So I'll show you that in a little bit on a model, what I mean by that, but the tibia sits a little bit anteriorly in this position, okay? But what happens is, is you, if you have a PCL injury, so not ACL, but a PCL injury, and then let's say now your tibia kind of comes posterior in this position. What you're going to get is a posterior tibia that is sitting in this position and you're going to do your Lachman test or your anterior drawer test and you're going to notice a lot of anterior translation. But it's just because it's starting posteriorly. So before we get into what we do with the clinical exam, I just wanted to show you that in a bit of a model here, but where the, the tibial plateau and the femoral con condyle line up during your examination process is pretty important. So what this looks like on examination is the first test we're going to do for ACL is actually going to bring them up to about 90 degrees of knee flexion in this position and we're just going to palpate. So the first thing we want to palpate is where the tibia is sitting in relationship to the femur or the femoral condyle. So the way I do this again is just bring them up to 90 degrees, I take one finger, I run it down the medial femoral condyle until I hit the tibial plateau. And you can see I kind of come right down the condyle until I hit a bump. I'll take my other finger and I'll roll up. I'm not pushing down too hard, I'm just kind of rolling up. And then I can see the distance between my fingertips and I can see that his tibia is sitting a little bit anterior to the femoral condyle. That's what we want. That's an intact knee. That's what we're looking for. But again, if he didn't have a posterior cruciate ligament, if he had a PCL injury, he would be sitting more posteriorly and then that would just go completely straight down. Okay, so we call that a step off sign essentially with the condyle here, but you're just sliding your finger down the femoral condyle to see where it lines up with the tibia. Okay, so you have to do this first before we do something like an anterior drawer or a Lachman because if they're sitting posteriorly and you go to do an anterior translation on that, it's going to look like they have a lot more motion than, than they really do because you're starting posterior and it's going to come forward. So you're going to think, wow, that's a lot of anterior translation, but it's because they're sitting posterior. So before you do any of your ACL tests, make sure you do this quick, this quick check here just to see the position that they're in. And it's just by sliding your finger down that condyle and seeing where it lines up with the tibia. Okay, so real quick tip, but very important that you do that at the beginning of your ACL examination so that way you don't get a false negative or you, you don't miss a structure like your PCL.